Moses to the land of Egypt to rescue his fellow Israeli brothers. And he took a stick and cast it on the ground. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. You know, you know, you know how I finally learned this. Is, that was the story that really let me know that the Bible could be full of shit sometimes. Let me tell you why. So Moses gets the knowledge from the burning bush that it is time for the unjust action of his people being in shackles in Egypt by the hands of these unruly Egyptian niggers. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. In Arabic, they're called Sus. But anyway, all these unruly niggers, it's time for you to free them. So he gives them this magic staff. I'm talking about like the, the lightsaber of staffs. It can change into, change, into sna change into snakes and machine guns and shit. And he returns back to the land of Egypt. He talks to Pharaoh. And his first trick to persuade him to free his people was to take a stick, turn it into a snake, and let him know, nigga, my God with the shit. He turns shits into snakes, nigga. He'll turn all your he'll turn your dick into a snake, nigga. I don't care how cool it sounded. Your bitch ain't gonna like that. And so the Pharaoh in response was like, Oh, okay, I'm gonna get two of my magicians, they're gonna come here and turn their staffs into snakes. And lo and behold, they did. They could do it. Now, here's the issue. What made me in doubt of the authenticity of the Bible wasn't even the fact that Moses turned his stick into a snake. It ain't even that because we can we can argue, OK, maybe God does exist and maybe he does imbu imbue some of us with the power that others cannot possess. It's not even that. What confuses me is the fact that the Pharaoh just had niggas on standby who could just turn shit into snakes. Just to, like, where was this day and age where niggas, everybody could just turn shit into shit? Like, cause I don't even I think I want to say even in Exodus, when you read after the other plagues, when he, when the plagues start commencing, Moses turns water into blood. The mo the 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 uh, magicians did that as well. They turned water into blood too. It's like, where would he? Where, where would he say? What age would you? What age was alchemy? Like, what, what, was this? Was this when Edward Elric exists? When this when Edward Elric and Alphonse Ad, Alphonse Elric existed? Like Hohenheim, all them niggas was back. You're like, when was this time where everybody just had magical powers? You know what I'm saying? Like even when, and even when you look outside the even when you look outside what God made you be able to do. Like even I remember saying like I remember it said how um I'm gonna say it said like how um. Oh, this was, you know what? Better yet, something I noticed and I was thinking about this too. The Bible, if you read it, it rarely ever denies the existence of other gods. It will tell, it has maybe one or two lines where it says, do not worship any false idols, but generally speaking, it acknowledges the existence. Of, it only has one line I remember where it calls the gods false. But every other time it says like, do not worship any other gods. I know that God is strong, but I'm like, just the fact that you're acknowledging other gods' existence lets me know that they might be other gods. So it's like, you know, like, I don't know, man. I just think, I, I, like I said, I am not against Christianity. My grandmother was an ordained minister, school teacher, pastor, and a bona fide big mama. Um, <laughs> all the black people, they know what I'm talking about. But like, so because of that, it's like, I have respect for the Christian church, the ethnic group that I am from. Christianity is one of the highly most high. It's a, it is such an importance to our day to day life. It is such an importance to our culture. I just feel personally, there's a lot of things that we need to rethink about. You know, my mother has this innate, this fear of the Bible, fear of God. And like part of the, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I want you guys to let me know what you guys think. Cause we can have this conversation all day. Now read my book and see what else we got to talk about this. We got a lot to talk about today. We got a lot to talk about today.